All right, hey, what's going on, guys? So one of the hardest things about this ministry, about what I do, as well as my interaction with a lot of you guys, which, to be honest, is not really that much since there's so many people out there, but knowing the audience, knowing and reading some of the comments and understanding the fact that a lot of people are in different places in life, you are affected by my words, the ministry, by a lot of things around you. And many people are at different stages, different spiritual levels of maturity and many life stages. It's hard to cater to everybody. And that's just the case for ministry in general. And so you never can go out and target everybody. You can never go out and hit a slam dunk. And all the messages, all the videos, all the different things I say, they touch people in different ways and in certain circumstances. And that's one of the things that was sort of the hardest to swallow in terms of whether you want to say it's the target audience, whether you want to say the impact, the ministry impact. And I just want to encourage some of you guys because a lot of us right now are confused by whether it's you know prophetic words, whether it's sort of the content that I, that I create. And a lot of people are asking lots of questions and doing a lot of different things. And it's hard for me to answer a lot of them because a lot of people, even if I explain it, there there's a perspective that people have that maybe is either uh, hard to get out of or it's something that requires me sitting down with somebody even face-to-face -face for a very long time to discuss that topic. And so it's hard to do these, you know, short videos you know, all, all the time and not fully elaborate on something or go deep into something. And so it's just kind of hits some people, it misses some people and whatnot. And so I say that because I want to encourage a lot of you guys in your ministry and how you interact with people and how God is taking certain people through different things, because you're never going to hit everything. You're never going to be able to sit down until you get to heaven where you have all the time in the world. You're never going to be able to sit down and fully walk somebody through something and they're never really going to understand or get something because there's just a lot of things in between. There's a lot of sin between, you know, um, the way that you view people. There's a lot of things in terms of how you explain, how it's received, nonverbal cues, communication, and all these different things. And so it breaks my heart to see that in this channel and this ministry. But at the same time, that's how it is because I know that there's a small group of you guys there's other people that are just, uh, whether you're hungry and you know and you just connect in this way and you almost feel like I am somebody you really know, right? And even though it's a one-to-many type of communication, it's not a one-to-one -one method, you feel like you connect and you feel like you have the same thoughts and that you have this spiritual oneness, right, with this person. And that's sort of... The direction a lot of ministry and a lot of things are moving towards this personal aspect and all that and so i'm thankful for that and i'm grateful for all of that and i understand a lot of where you guys are coming from because that's where i was when i listened to other people when i had gone through suffering and things like that and so there is a small group of you guys that i'm very thankful for that i'm praying over and that i love one day whether it's here or in heaven when i have more time that i can have a better intimacy with. But ultimately, I know that in heaven, I can have that. And so uh, that's something I look forward to, whether I get a lot of views, which doesn't really matter to me, whether I get very little views or whatever it is. I know that people are impacted, people are blessed. And I get these messages from time to time to continue going that there are people that are listening that are being impacted positively. And so though for many people, you don't really see something, you don't really understand something, you feel like it's empty words, you feel like it's meaningless, there are people that are benefiting and that have that impact. And the same goes for your ministry, for your, you know, interactions with people or whatever it is. It may, it may look empty to you, it may look not, not good on, uh, from your perspective, but there is somebody on the other side that's really receiving it, there's an impact, there is seeds being planted and all of that. And so, again, though there's a lot of things going on with, you know, in the world as well as with this channel, with a lot of things that I'm proclaiming and declaring, as well as the clarification behind a lot of my sharing, a lot of the content I create and things like that. But ultimately, 
there is some some sense of a gap in many ways. And so I just want to acknowledge that. And I just want to ask you guys to continue to pray, to be in the spirit as we interact. And I know that some some videos, a lot of people will have this sort of short temper or rather this short leash with me in many ways. But I know people come in and out. I know a lot of things, especially with prophetic words uh, coming to pass. And I still believe it soon those things also will redeem and sort of clarify a lot of things. And so though temporarily a lot of you guys may have, you know, lost interest or many or many have just either fallen away or don't really care for things anymore, I know that that process is a, a push and pull. And so it takes some time. And so just I say that just to, to share my heart, to tell you guys that I think of you, I pray for you guys, I love you guys. And I know that though... There's not as much intimacy apart from this one-way sort of communication. I know one day in heaven, as well as if I get more time, if God changes certain circumstances around me, that I can have more of this to devote, whether it's replying, whether it's other things. But for now, the Lord has given me this sort of holding pattern in doing what I'm doing now until other things change and other things sort of come to pass. And so... It's a, it's a testing, guys. It's a testing. It's a time where we need to be rooted in Him, to seek Him, to put Him first, to not put other men, not put other hope in things first, rather uh, the Lord. And so just be encouraged by that and hold fast to it. I want to leave you guys with this verse. I talk about Second Chronicles 20. I've talked about it before, but we're in a big battle, and I was just reminded of this today. But it says, the story of King Jehoshaphat, who were fighting this uh, three groups of people that were coming at him. And one of the things that he says that was declared by um, a, uh, I think a prophet or or, a, or one of the, the Levite sons, basically he said, listen, uh, or no, I'll start in verse uh, 15. It says, do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude for the battle is not yours, but God's. And so just want to encourage you guys with that. This whole chapter is encouraging. But in a time, in a place right now where a lot of people are speaking past each other, they feel like they're not in tune or understanding of what's going on with what people are saying and all these different things. There's a battle and we just need to be uh, unhindered, unwavered and not afraid, not anxious because the battle is not ours, it's the Lord's, and he's fighting it for us right now. And so God bless you guys. I'll talk to you guys very soon.